I think that girl's tired and hungry. <laughs> you have a good day? Yes. Hello, Dexter. No? <laughs> Probably not. Crikey! Australia Zoo! Home of the crocodile hunter. Welcome to Y2J. Guys, koalas. Wait a minute. Alright, let's head over to this side. Stuff down on yeah. the at the end of our day at Australia Zoo, Australia Zoo is actually about 45 minutes drive north of Brisbane, we finally got the koalas. Now normally you need a booking to do this. Uh, we were lucky, we went there on a rainy weekday, so we just got in, just lucky. You know, the last koala hold of the day. They only do four of them per day, they only do four people per encounter, so generally bookings are essential if you want to do this. It's also worth noting that you can't do this everywhere in Australia. Not all Australia zoos will allow this because the rules are different for holding koalas in each state. Queensland is one of the states where you can do this. And I went to Australia when I was 14 years old back in 1992 and I didn't do it and boy I regretted it. So we definitely took the chance this time. Hello again little Dexter. How old is Dexter? So he's three, three years old. So he's fully grown. He's just very small for his age. So he only weighs uh, about five and a half kilos. Um, the northern koalas weigh from five to nine kilos, so he's very small for his age. Um, the southern koalas, they weigh between like eight to 14 kilos, so they're massive. We have a southern koala called Kola, and he weighs 10 and a half, and I'll hold him down here, and his claws will come up and over, so he's huge. <laughs> So I guess a smaller koala is easier for a koala encounter. It's easier for yeah, to hold. Yeah, definitely. And he's he's not too bad. So what gives him their smell? I mean, he's got a so fucking smell. Yeah, so I'll show you after. The boys have got a scent gland through the middle there. And that scent gland is what you can smell. They um, wipe that scent gland on trees to let girls know he's there or to mark his territory. And uh, the smellier the better, the girls love the smelly ones. And also the eucalyptus, they eat really oily. So it comes through their skin as well, so that's another you can smell that as well. <laughs> and they rely on their hearing and their smell. So they can hear and smell up to a few kilometers away. You can see they've got massive noses and big ears. I just wonder, because uh, the science said that these guys sleep for 20 hours a day. Yeah, 18 to 20. Does that mean that um, it's hard to get a koala, a koala actually to be awake for a koala encounter? <laughs> No, if we pick him up, like he's, he was awake when I'm, I grabbed him, he was having some food. There's a trolley going past, there's a trolley going past. You can see how bucket. alert they are, just looking at it. It's a bucket! Oh. I'll show you after, they got two fused toes on each side, and that's what they use to keep themselves looking pretty so it's called a grooming block. So they scratch themselves with them. Bring the light, yep, perfect. Just tell me when you're ready, friends. Come on. Hello, next down. <laughs> you have a good day? Yes? Hello Dexter. No? Unhook Dexter, unhook. <laughs> so, can you see that sand gland through the middle there? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, see that there? Yeah. That's the sand gland we are talking about. And See them two, he's got a bit of fur in there at the moment. See the two fused toes? Yep. So that's that grooming cloth. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, can you see how it's two together? Yeah. So that's a grooming cloth, so they use that to flick off the fur, keep themselves looking pretty for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> you have a girlfriend, yeah, <laughs> Lots of girlfriends. Oh, cool. <laughs> Say goodbye to Cora. Dexter. Bye bye Dexter. We have bye bye Dexter. <laughs> I think Dexter is tired and hungry. That makes, that makes cool. <laughs> <laughs>